Alicia here with Terra Drift coming at you from the woods of Western Massachusetts. Just the kind of place where I enjoy sleeping outdoors. Preferably in a super comfy sleeping bag. Preferably a sustainable super comfy sleeping bag. So when I heard about the nightcap from Sierra Designs, I was all, listen, I gotta get my hands on this. So I did. And spoilers, it did not disappoint. Which, not gonna lie, was a little surprising because Sierra Designs wasn't one of those brands high up on my list of, you know, stellar outdoors outdoor brands making really high quality stuff. But that's my bad because I really like this sleeping bag. But let's back up for a minute and talk about the deets. First of all, the whole bag is made out of recycled materials. I'm talking fabric, insulation, all of it. Recycled polyester make up the fabric and lining, and the brand Sierra Loft Eco Synthetic Insulation keeps you all toasty inside. The bag comes in a 20 degree and 35 degree version. We tested the 35, and they all come in regular and long lengths. The 20 is even available in a women's version. But here's what makes this bag really interesting. There's no zipper. I know, right? It's crazy, but it works. Instead, the upper layer of the bag has a sort of wraparound design where the top of the bag folds over you and wraps around, tucking into the other side, kind of like you tuck yourself into your bed at home, which is why Sierra Designs designed it like this in the first place. But there's another benefit. Uh, first of all, no noisy zipper, and secondly, uh, no zipper to get stuck when you have to pee in the middle of the night. What What's more, there's also a zipperless foot vent, an opening near your ankles with a slight overlap of fabric that allows you to stick your feet out of the bag on warm nights or tuck them back in without having to sit up, scrunch into a ball, and fiddle with a zipper in the middle of the night. Amazing. There's also a cinch cord on the hood, naturally, and a sleeping pad sleeve that helps your bag stay put on your sleeping pad throughout the entire night. The nightcap comes with a tolerably compact stuff sack, but not a compression sack and packs down nice and small. The 35 weighs under two pounds, four ounces, so it's totally suitable for backpacking, which I can attest to because I recently took it on a week-long backpacking trip on Isle Royale National Park in Michigan, and it was great. But you want to know what I thought of it, right? Uh, I liked it. I think I already mentioned that. I really did. Honestly, I was a bit surprised how nice the bag was because I didn't have that much experience with Sierra Designs up until this point. But the fabric of the bag was very soft and silky, which I find extremely important in a sleeping bag. And the insulation was nice and fluffy, which makes for a very cozy night's sleep. But it's also exceedingly compressible. I had no trouble stuffing it into the very bottom of my backpack with all of my other gear. I loved the foot vent on slightly warmer nights and the ability to just throw off the top layer when I got too toasty. In fact, the brand advertises that it offers a sleeping experience closer to that of your bed at home, you know, like with a comforter and all that. And honestly, I think they're pretty spot on, at least as close as you can get with a sleeping bag. I also really liked the pad sleeve, mostly the fact that it's only a very small section of the back of the bag. So I still felt like I could turn and scrunch my legs up and move around and all that without feeling tied down to the pad beneath me. And the bag was as cozy as it claimed. I used it in temps very close to 35 degrees. And with the comfort rating at 39, I stayed pretty toasty all night night long. I maybe felt a few chills on the coldest nights, but nothing that kept me from sleeping, so color me impressed. I mean, I was sure all my rolling over and tossing around would end up throwing the blanket-like top right off of me, but I stayed pretty well bundled through it all, probably thanks in part to the little pocket on the corner that you can tuck around your shoulder or stick your hand in when you're side sleeping to, you know, curl up and stuff. Josh didn't find it quite as secure as I did, so maybe he moves around more erratically than I do, but he did have a little more trouble staying all wrapped up like a cozy burrito. Still, he agreed it's a super comfortable bag. Of course, I had a few little qualms. For example, once or twice I did stick my feet through the vent without actually meaning to. And the bag is actually pretty wide, which means it will fit a broader group of people on the plus side, but I'm tiny, so I had to really wrap myself up to stay warm. But that's a, only a consideration for the minuscule part of the population that's the size of a 12 year old. I also wish there was an interior pocket for things like batteries or phones to keep them warm on cool nights, but 
I guess you can't have it all. And while I did like the pad sleeve, take note that that small portion of the back of the bag doesn't contain any insulation. So if you do roll over with the bag on a cold night or use it without a pad in a hammock, you'll be able to feel the chill in the air. Just a heads up. But all in all, this bag is a winner in my book. It's pretty lightweight. It packs up really small. It's soft and cozy. The temperature rating was accurate. And I was very cozy sleeping on my back, sides, stomach, you name it. This may be my new go-to spring and fall bag right here. Or, you know, summer if you're in Michigan, because apparently the whole state has forgotten what summer is supposed to feel like. Hot. It's supposed to be hot. Not like 40 degrees at night, I'm just saying. But I digress. You should definitely give the Sierra Designs Nightcap a go, so we'll put a link to it in the description below. I mean, a super sustainable sleeping bag that's ideal for backpacking? What's not to love? What do you think? Would you try a zipperless sleep? sleeping bag? Let us know in the comments below. And then make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Make sure to hit the bell so you don't miss any of our future gear reviews and updates. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter so you can keep abreast of all of the fun things we're up to. And head over to terradrift.com where you'll find all manner of sustainable outdoor content. As always, thanks for watching. Now go sleep outside and wander on. I would sleep out here, honestly. I mean, frankly, this seems like a good spot for the tensile. Have you guys seen our tensile review? Dude, that's a dope tent. Uh, and yes, the Sierra Designs nightcap will go nicely inside of the tensile, which is not a normal tent. It's a tree tent, BT dubs. We'll put a link to that in the description below too, but yeah, like there are birds singing, trees everywhere. It's nice and shady. It's actually summer here in Western Massachusetts, so it's warm. Yeah, yeah, I would sleep out here. Bring me my nightcap, man. Let's do it.